Yo, what's going on guys? So you all know yesterday they dropped season two reloaded, but they also dropped a new event, Dune Rule of Fate. Now we all know what I care about and that is the new camo that comes with it. Now I've never watched Dune, but I heard that the new one that just came out is fire. Let me know if you guys have seen it, but of course this is an XP event. So you have to earn XP and make your way through all of these different tiers until you get to the final tier, which is thankfully a camo, the full shield camo. Now, I think they have to be watching my videos at this point because look at what they've done. They called it full shields in brackets, animated camo. <laughs> I appreciate that. Either way, you have to get 293,750 XP. Again, I don't know why they do it that specific, but we are very close to it right now. So we should be able to unlock it in this next game. Hey, listen, this new update is cool and all. I love the new weapon. I love the new buffs and nerfs, but the best part of this update, let's be real, is the fact that you can track the challenges <laughs> i can literally see exactly what i what the i can see exactly what i need to do now and how close i am the amount of times i would spend too long in a game getting more xp than was actually needed just because i couldn't tell how much i actually had now i can oh <laughs> no more wasting time here, ladies and gentlemen. Also, just for reference of the last event, I put on the barbed and dangerous camo because this one was a... Uh, it was the last one, but it was terrible. <laughs> so I'm excited to unlock this new one so we can compare it. I'm hoping it's a lot better. It's supposed to be animated, so we're already off to a good start. This is... Oh my, yo, they're all spawning on me. This is Team Deathmatch, so we really only have a limited time to get the XP that we need. I haven't got any ammo left. Wait, give me this. Okay. Oh, give me another weapon. Okay, here's another one. I'm literally playing gun game in a normal lobby. Oh, no, 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 no. Listen, I'm loving this map too. I think this is a W update so far. What are you guys thinking? This new map is really nice, although it's technically not new. It came from Vanguard, but they've revamped it. It looks a lot nicer, a lot brighter. That's a W, in my opinion. The new gun is usable. Apparently, people are saying it's good in Warzone as well, which I do need to try out. Oh, daily challenge done. That will actually help me a lot towards this camo. Come on. Get out of here. Oh, man, there's really not long left in this game. Come on. Why are we throwing down smoke grenades? Oh, man, I need to lock it in. What am I doing? Bro, I think we're a couple thousand XP off, but the game is literally about to end. Get you. Oh, knife. Come on. Come on. No, 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 no. The game, the game is so close. The game is so flipping close. We haven't got it yet. No, 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 no. Bro, okay, please, please make sure I have it. I don't know. I actually don't know. Honestly, I think we got it right at the end right there. Let's see. Come on, please. We did it. Come on. Let's not get too excited yet because it could be bugged. If we go over to the event now, scroll all the way to the right. There we go. We should have the full shield camo unlocked. So now let me go to the camos. Is it going to be in events? Is this it right here? No, that's not. Oh, it's this one. Whoa. Wait, what the? The square looks crazy, but then I look at the gun and that looks cool too. Okay, it really is animated then. Well, duh. For those of you that have watched Dune, does this have any relevance to the film at all? Please let me know. All right, let's check this thing out then. Oh, do you know what? That's not, it's not the worst event camo, you know? So it clearly is animated, as you can see. It's got a very weird animation though, but I'm not mad at it. Listen, with all the past ones, I've complained about them not being animated and stuff like that. This one is. It might not be the coolest animation, but it definitely does not look bad whatsoever. I just don't really understand what it is. Like, what are these golden dots moving around? What are they? What the? What are they actually supposed to be? Does anyone know? Wait, there's a guy here. Get out of here, buddy. Maybe I should watch Dune to actually... Ooh. Maybe I should actually watch Dune so I know what's going on. Or even if there's a new event coming out, I should watch whatever movie is based around because half the time I feel like when these events come out and they might add a new item based around a movie or a show, I have no idea what I'm talking about. It's always up to you guys to let me know in the comments what it actually is. Hey man, I say it all the time, but I literally think the events that they've been adding to these games are some of the best things they've been doing. Not necessarily the rewards because sometimes the rewards are ah, 
not the best. Whack. But just the event in general, giving us something to work towards, even in between seasons, you know, not a battle pass, of course. But these little events are technically like mini battle passes. You know, just like battle passes, you play and you make your way through it and earn rewards whilst you're doing it. I don't know. I think that's a great idea, though. Of course, it always... Why have they made the heli so flipping big on the minimap? I don't get it. That's ever since this update came out. But yeah, I just think giving us something good to work towards is always a great idea. especially when there's no prestigious. Think about it. Back in the day, that's exactly what would keep us playing, having something to work towards. In that time, it was our level, it was our prestige logo. Man, that meant so much to us for some reason, but it was something to play and want to get more and more XP for, and that's kind of what these things are doing. Although I would definitely take prestiges as well as these, right? <laughs> Bro, that heli is not that big. <laughs> What's going on? Ooh, let me pick this sniper up. You guys know I love picking up other people's snipers. You know them moments where you see something, but it's too late? I didn't know he had a rocket launcher. Come here, buddy. Where'd he go? Get off of me. Bro, can I kill this guy? Yo, what are you using? Ooh, I gotta get one kill with it before I die, please. Nope. Oh, no. Nope. There we go. All right, I gotta kill with it. Bro, why can I not hit a shot with this? Nope. Nope. I'm trash. Oh, yeah, and of course, you could also put it on the Modern Warfare 2 weapons. I've got it on the intervention right here. Hello there. Wait, what the? <laughs> I'm in the dark a little bit over here, and I don't think it glows in the dark. I could be wrong. They've also confirmed with this update that we've got some more events coming too. We've got one for Warhammer. I'm not familiar with Warhammer either. I think I've heard that it's like a board game or something like that. I don't know. Let me know if any of you guys are into that and are excited for that event, but I've heard that's got some crazy stuff coming. So if that's the case, that will be really cool too. Listen, half the time, I don't care what sort of collab it is, as long as the reward is something that looks great and it's worth getting, that's when I'm happy. <laughs> Yo, he was jumping around so much too. I thought it was over for me. Also, I have to mention this one thing. I hate the fact that when these new events come out, what they will do is wait for... Wait, where'd my sniper go? Where'd my sniper go? Are you serious? I just lost it like that? They heard me complaining and took my weapon off of me. <laughs> but what they do, they are very smart. They will drop the events on a Wednesday. We you guys know we get a new set of weekly challenges on a Wednesday, but they will make sure the weekly challenges come out before the event does on that day. Meaning most people will just start working on the weekly challenges straight away as soon as it comes out. But I'm sure you guys know when an XP event comes out, you can use the weekly challenges reward. So if if you do a weekly challenge you get an xp reward each time you do it sometimes it's 10k sometimes it's 7.5 sometimes it's five you guys know the vibes but obviously if you complete those challenges before the event comes out they are not going to go towards the event and i think that's why they drop the weekly challenges before the events drop so most people just go for the weekly challenges before the event comes out maybe i'm overthinking it but that's the most annoying thing ever because half the time i want to get the new aftermarket part or whatever reward it is that week so i do it straight away but i also wish my XP from that would go towards the event, but I have to do it straight away. I guess most people would just wait until the event comes out too, if you're smart to be able to do both at the same time. But listen, man, I've got content to get out. So I have to sacrifice that XP. It's tough. <laughs> God, hey! Damn. Oh, this guy is trying. Woo! Wait, which one did I get? I don't even know which one I got. Got you, buddy. <laughs> There's you, there's you, and you too, and you as well. Oh yeah, we're doing it now. Oh, now they got a counter UAV. What am I supposed to do now? Hit marker. Hit marker again. Okay. Uh, oh, Ooh, whoa, whoa. I also heard that apparently in the files after this update came out, Reba... Wait, <laughs> I don't think I have ever died like that. <laughs> the heli just hit me. As I was trying to say, Rebirth Island is apparently... Ri
Wait, play this update? What, what am I about to get here? Anything new? I mean, I don't see anything, but who knows? Either way, Rebirth Island is apparently coming in season three, which I am really, really excited for. But anyway, that's enough Modern Warfare 3 for me today. We managed to unlock the new camo and I'm actually happy with it. It's not my favorite camo in the world, but it is animated. So it's cool to add to the collection. Of course, if you do want any of the other stuff in the event, it's probably worth going for anyway. And it's only XP. If you play, you're most likely gonna work your way through through this anyway but you know you get some extra double xp tokens another double weapon xp token too and i'm sure a battle pass xp token as well so it's worth doing and then you get a nice little reward at the end but yeah man thanks for watching i appreciate all the support you guys have been showing on the channel you guys have been absolutely killing it i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next one